I'll take one of those. Yo. No, that's fine. The more the merrier. Oh, thank you. I look forward to meeting you too. James, seriously, can't you just wait until the party starts? What? I must get breakfast this morning. A really good bagel place was closed. Or at least they look like bagels. I don't know they call them here in Europe. Anyway, what are you freaking out about? You're doing fine. I need to be doing perfect. We're negotiating for an exclusive contract covering the entire country. Yeah, but it's only a small country. Think of it as Iowa. Iowa? Hmm. You're not helping me. Listen, I've seen quite a few people do this, right? Badly. But I've never seen anyone quite as overprepared or as smart as you. Really? Are you just saying that? Or as incapable of taking a compliment. Okay, he'll be here any minute. See you down there? Don't worry, I'll be there. They'll be here in a few minutes. Can't you just fill it up again? This is Gabrielle. Okay. They're here. Excuse me, could you make sure there's water in the meeting rooms, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Mr. Cho. Mm -hmm. Mr. Voin. Hope you had a pleasant trip. I'm sure you'd like to freshen up before the meeting. The others will be here soon. We have a range of competitively priced packages if budget is an option. We could also look at laying down cables, but this does mean additional workforce. The rural areas are so mountainous and the winters get so harsh that laying copper is just not feasible. What we are looking for is a cellular solution. Of course, and Transglobal has already worked to do just that in Peru, Honduras, Chechnya, Senegal. All with similar terrain issues. I mean, cellular really is the best approach. But all the mountains mean more cell towers. Otherwise, too much dead zone. That's why we're looking for an exclusive 15-year contract if we're going to invest so heavily in this kind of infrastructure. What you are talking about is a monopoly. A temporary exclusive contract. It's in the best interest of both parties. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some people have not figured out that they can now vote to express their opinions. <clears throat> um, well, I'm sure the authorities have it all under control if we could just take our seats again. We have a lot to get through before this evening. <clears throat> so, uh, where were we? is James Henderson. He's our, um, well, uh, he does just about everything. <laughs> Officially, I'm the local liaison. So what does a local liaison do? Uh, well, I come in ahead of time to lay down the groundwork for negotiations like this, and then I stay afterwards to finalize any finishing touches. Uh-huh, a fixer. Exactly. Oh, my God, it's her. 
Oh my God. Did you say, oh my God? Yes, yes I did. I said it and I'm owning it. Groundbreaking political visionaries are, oh my God, worthy. These periods of transition to free market democracy are extremely volatile. We have seen what has happened in other countries and we are doing our best to learn from their mistakes and their successes. Ah, she's hot. We believe that the people are hungry for change. Jesus, you have some respect. She spent six life. years in prison and still managed to turn Once this place around. See the benefits of economic development, Ignore him. The free movement of Scumbag freedom. like that's the competition. And believe me, you've won the contract. Not only with our neighbors, but also with our partners around the world. The Speaking of scumbags. Why we waited so long to take see him? Who is he? That's George Vorza. That's KJB. He used to run the secret police. It's Jim Lazar's right hand man back in the day. I thought they all got locked up. Oh, yeah, Lazar's still his side. A lot of amnesty got thrown around. You know, democracy. Well, he looks like he's on Tanya's team now. They fear democracy. All right, I'm our uncle. He's not my uncle. It's a figure of speech. We've got an excellent product. We don't have to do that. Uh, yes, we do. We're going to help this country get away from that kind of corruption. You know, sometimes being naive can come across as self-righteousness. Why don't you leave it that we're trying to make a book, and as a happy side effect of that, we can build our economy and middle class. <laughs> Such an honor to meet you. Thank you for standing up for naive self-righteousness. <laughs> Don't mind, James. He thinks that being cynical is a sign of intelligence. Is that right? Uh, no. But I do think that cynicism is an inevitable result of intelligence. And age, actually. I didn't realize I was that young. Thank you. She's sharp. Like the old guard are fighting back. The army are taking over. Come on, you gotta go. Okay, okay. You don't have to be so rude. What are we going to do? You are gonna go to Goober's room. He's a pig. Why can't I stay with you? I've gotta go to work. Come on, let's go. James, please! Get dressed. Quiet. And as we've been reporting, the president's motorcade has been attacked and we have unconfirmed reports that she has been killed. Fighting has broken out between government forces and rebel military units loyal to the ousted hard man General Lazar. If you're just... Right now... Oh my god. I've got you on a flight out, but they won't wait. Where to? I have no idea. We are here. 
hearing that at least 15 people are confirmed dead in skirmishes between them. Hey! Hey! James, what about those people? One last five minutes in New York. Come on, get in. What about you? Uh, I've got some loose ends to tie up here. You go. All right. Hey, you see this? Ka-ching. You get her to the airport, all right? Okay. Just the girl, yes? Just her. As fast as you can. Okay? No kidding. James! James! You have to help me. What about Lava Boy? He's an idiot. He'll do something stupid and get us killed. We have to get away. We had a business deal. All right, there's nothing more I can do for you. I'm sorry. You're a bastard, James! anti-government forces and pro-Petrenko citizens. We do know that the country's new flag has been taken down from the presidential palace. Government buildings and much of the old town has been evacuated. We do not know where the government ministers or cabinet members are. Check every floor. Everyone, stay calm. We're here for your protection. You're safe now. So the army's here. Borsa? Yeah. Looks like he's taking over now. No, not Borsa. They won't make a move without Lazar. I guess he'll be here before long. You think? President's dead. That explosion earlier? Central prison's in that part of town. Yeah, I think Lazar's back in business. And seeing that we got the world's press here? Yeah. You sticking around? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'll finally get the hot tub all to myself. <laughs> yeah. You? Well, here the golf is great. <laughs> so, uh... Anyway, I better get back. Don't want to get looted. Good luck. You too. Get back to your room. Well, I'd like to. It's army business. It's okay. It's not okay.
Go. Gabrielle? Yeah, did you get to the airport? What? You have to stay inside. Oh, let's go for a quick smoke. No, our Westerners must stay in the hotel. Why do you say I want? I take two. Sure. Okay. Thanks, man. That's all. I leave now, okay? Okay. We're gonna have to get her inside. I'll get her to my room. I've got some supplies. Supplies? James, look at her. A couple of band-aids are gonna help. Okay. I've got this. Talk right now. Okay. You get her inside. I'll meet you around there. Wait, can't you come with us? 
I just need a quick smoke. Are you serious? This has all been very stressful, all right? Go inside. I'll meet you around. James! Go, go. Shit. Oh, hey! Hey, sorry, man. I thought I had two. Never know you have another chance. You must come back inside. Now! All right. Hey. What? You stay inside now. No more cigarettes. All right. You're the boss. Seven years, so. Let's get her upstairs. downstairs. Move. Move. You'll be okay. I almost believe you. You're an excellent liar. I need to fix you up, all right? So we're going to go to my room. I bet you say that to all the cops. <laughs> Only depose presidents in the middle of a military coup. So strictly necessary? It's for your own protection. And you're the one from the party? Matt Gibbons, and you are? Gabrielle Martin. <laughs> That's all we can do. I don't remember you being on the guest list. Just think of me as a tourist, here to take in the sights. I need to go back to my room. And the privacy of your company. Gas pollution. Nick of only we to scup. Vipan Nice. Very well then. But stay out of the way. <laughs> Seems harmless enough. Cute though. They are usually the dangerous ones. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Rusami Ziliet. James! James, it's me! Seriously? Are you kidding me? What? We're 
set of bandages. How is she? Uh, well, if this was a hospital, I'd say she'd live. Here, I don't know. Let's do what I can. We should call the U.S. Embassy. We can call the U.S. Embassy because the other line's under surveillance. Do you understand that we're hiding the most wanted person in the country? The assholes pulling this coup will have to make us disappear because if we get out, they can't trust us not to tell the world about her. So that means there's not going to be any Amnesty International or former U.S. presidents or fading rock stars flying in to save us. We will have never existed. You understand? I understand. All right. Because that was the good news. The bad news is that this woman is bleeding to death. And if she dies, we will get blamed by everyone. The coup scapegoat is out. And her friends will think we were on the coup's payroll. OK, so what do we do? He's just telling you the reality of your situation. Wandering the streets. My mother Kate got attacked. I know, we saw it on TV. They said you were killed. I managed to make my way out of the car. <laughs> Some of my men made it too. They told me to run. But then they stayed behind to fight. Oh, good. <sighs> good men. I didn't realize how badly I was hurt. And then you found me. But I wanted to go back to the presidential palace. It wasn't safe. I need to rally the people. What's done is done. For now, you're gonna need some doctoring. Ah! Oh! God, there isn't the time! And I don't have time to store a dead president in my room. <laughs> okay. Okay, what do I do? Uh, we're gonna need some food, something to drink. She's lost a lot of blood, so anything with high sugar, you know, lots of calories. Soda is good, chocolate, and uh, scotch. Really? Scotch? Is that a good idea? The scotch is for me. And it's a great idea. I don't think the mini bar is gonna last the night. Okay. You know what? You should put a shirt on. We don't need you getting a cold. What? I, I don't... Where did, seriously, where did you learn how to do this? Boy Scouts. Now go, before I die of thirst. All right. <sighs> That's the easy part. <sighs> now the hard bit. You ready? Yes. Naked. Lay back, lay back. Hey, go ahead. This next bit is really gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, was it so bad? Right. I just need to clean it out and sew it up. You're pretty good at this. You didn't learn it in Boy Scouts. <laughs> I don't know. I did get pretty wild around the campfire. <laughs> ah! Come on, come on. Move, move, move. Time to go. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Move, 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 move. This is the news crew? Yes. Do you have any idea how lucky you are? It was a serious wound. 
Lost a lot of blood. Gabrielle, what the hell? Listen, you'll never guess who just showed up. General Lazar. What are you doing here? Wait, 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 I don't know. Wait, wait. You are witnessing history today. Here, at the very place where the rights of our people were signed away by that traitor, Tanya Petrenko, and her fellow travelers. And she had the temerity to call herself president. <laughs> but all of that is finished now. The rightful government is being restored. At six o'clock this morning, as dawn breaks over our glorious homeland, I will announce to our grateful nation the end of Ms. Petrenko's tyranny. set up in the penthouse. It has the view over the city. You have set up office for me? Yes. Show me. Did you get all that? Yeah, I heard. Did you get those supplies? Yes, I have the supplies. All right, good. Hurry back as quick as you can. What's going on, love? General Lazar is here. Well, that was to be expected. This place has a special importance for him. He'll want to gloat. He's going on TV at 6 a.m. to declare his victory. So, uh, I guess we know who's running the show now. I need to get a broadcast out ahead of him. again. Am I invited to the party? Um, it's been a long night. I needed something to eat. Well, there's plenty to celebrate. Maybe you don't get it because democracy is old news in the West. We are in the middle of a moment. People who have never known freedom are rising up. But this moment is as fragile as butterfly wings. The West come in with too heavy a hand and we fall apart. The tyrants get away with their brutality and it will take us another 20 years and another generation for another moment to arise. I mean, no wonder Lazar tried to kill you. <laughs> so, are you going to help me? First, let's take a look at that wound. You're floored, I think. Oh, uh, um, no, I'm on the third floor. One more. Of course. There's something I've forgotten. Please excuse me. You, with me. Go ahead and sit up. I'll join you shortly. Good evening. Check every room. There's something not right. You know, your technique is very professional. <laughs> I was a pediatrician before this. Oh, yeah? What, looking after all those kids? You never had any of your own? My second time in jail, Lazar was very angry with me. <laughs> After he so generously let me out, I went back and started protesting again. He hit me in the stomach with a lead pipe. 
So after that, I couldn't have the children. Mm. I'm sorry. You know, you really are a lot more gentle than you let on. I figured you've been hurt enough. Just a second. Open the door. Open up. This is your last chance. Oh, hi guys. I'm sorry. I was in the john. How can I help? You really should be downstairs. We don't want civilians running around getting into trouble. Yeah, uh, sorry. I recognize you. You were at the reception earlier with, let me see, Gabrielle. Is that her name? Yes, yes. We're here to uh, expand the cell phone network. In fact, I can show you. Ah! Ah! Holy shit! Oh, God. Uh, what are you doing? I was uh, going to show you a brochure. If you want, yeah? I'm sorry. That's my company, Transglobal. Good. Good. We are becoming modern country. and need modern tools. I apologize for this. It's been a long night. Yeah, of course. And I've been drinking too much coffee. Soldier in the building will be here in minutes. Actually, you're right.
Are you okay? I'm okay. We can't stay here. If Borza got away, he'll be back with an army. Right. We need to move the body before somebody discovers it. We need to find the cart. I got one. Okay. We went upstairs to the TV people, sir. We'll be back soon. Tell them I'm gonna be on the third floor. Yes, sir. Lazar! Lazar! Victor, no! No, 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 no. no. Let him go. Our city was built by warriors. The Teutonic Knights established a fortress overlooking the river and held back the infidel for a century. <laughs> Crusader armies would march through the town in that keeps protective shadow. Men in steel, wielding steel, are what carves civilization from the wilderness. A man takes what he wants. A thief takes what he wants. Not so good with your hands. what they want and accept the consequences if they fail. Clean this mess up. Get these people out of here. Fine, Vorza! Come on, go, 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 go. Here we go. Come on. Getting up now, come on. Watch these civilians. We need to find Forza. Come on! He's heavy. Yes. Ha! James! Thank God. You're alive. I won't be for much longer. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to clean up after you. Okay. They're gonna be looking for Forza. They're probably gonna come up floor by floor, so we should go up one. Give us time to. Well, hide this guy away. You go ahead. Wait, where are you going? I need to clean up the room. If they realize what happened in there, they'll come after you. I'll take my chances. Come She's on. She's right, James. This puts all of us at risk. There's no time. Two minutes. I just needed to look like there wasn't a gunfight in there. All right, fine. But be quick. Right. Come on, let's get out of here. Go, 
How's it going? Oh, another two minutes. All right, well, we're in three one four. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. All right. Killed. I need to speak to the country. Uh, you okay? Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Excuse me. Sorry, do you mind? Sorry, we have to check the room. Sure you do. <clears throat> you find what you're looking for. Lazar? Mm. You know, I've been thinking, why is he here? We know that. This place has a special meaning for him, for me. No, oh, yeah, I get that, but why now? 
He's not done the TV broadcast until six, so why risk coming out here so far ahead of time? Does it matter? Maybe not. But I think Lazar came out here to meet someone like me, a fixer. See, a coup, it isn't pulled together in a vacuum. The leaders would make sure they have at least tacit outside support before they move. Corporations that would jump in and do business with the new bosses. Mm. All in exchange for extremely favorable contracts to be negotiated later. Right. I still don't see how it helps, though. Because there's more going on here than a coup. I think Lazar just met with his fixer and... <laughs> I think I know who it is. I'm gonna try and get something going. Slow down, Lazar. Give you some time. Oh, so I should just stay here like a good girl while my hero saves the day? No. Your people need you to stay alive, right? Mm. Well, the best way to do that is to wait here. I'm sorry. I'm just so used to fighting for everything. Uh, yeah, I'm sensing that. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Bathroom first. Dad, it's been a long day. We all make mistakes. I drop the piece and step back. <laughs> it's too late now. But how did you know? Uh, saw Lazar coming out of your room. It's hard to argue with that one. Mm. Sit down over there. Let's talk. Who do you work for? Probably no one after this. You guys hiring? I assume you give great dental, so you got a crack and set. Yeah, you're a riot. Who do you work for? Transglobal Digital. You know, they've invested a lot of money bribing this current administration. They'd really rather not start over again from the beginning, you know? Why snoop around me? Just nosy. No, there's more. We blow your cover. We tell everyone that your employers are financing the coup. That discards Lazar. <laughs> I should just turn you over to Lazar. But instead, I'm thinking, let's see if we can make a deal. You see, I'm trying to help you, and all you're giving me is lies. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. You're not working for Transglobal. Well, I hope they're paying for my fucking money. You're not doing this for Transglobal. Because as soon as this coup got started, I got on the horn with them and checked. So who do you work for now? forthcoming after a few weeks in Lazar's prisons. What'd you get Lazar on speed dial? <laughs> I'm here freelancing. 
brokering deals between Lazar and anyone else who went in on the ground floor once he takes charge. So yeah, you could say he takes my calls. I'm working for Vorza. And frankly, I'm more scared of him than I am of Lazar. Cresnovia, a favorite for Western media and business people, and where the late president came to speak earlier this evening, has been sealed off by the military. Guests are not being allowed to leave, and all communication has been cut. We don't know if it's dead. <laughs> like it when their puppets start to think they're real little boys, you know? When that happens, they find a new puppet. Okay, who's the new puppet? Slow down. First, I want immunity. I'm gonna fly out of here for me and Gabrielle. Who's the new puppet? Immunity. Okay, fine, immunity. Now, who's the new puppet? President Tanya Petrenko. Bullshit. <laughs> Is Lazar keeping you in the loop? She's not captured. She's not dead. She's not in another country. Uh, oh, shit. She's in my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me Petrenko's in the hotel? Forza has got balls, I'll give him that. <laughs> Why would she be working with him? Well, look, she turns a blind eye to Vorza's corruption. Vorza's network keeps her in power long enough for her to make the transition to democracy. Right? She's a true believer, but she's pragmatic. And Vorza is someone the agency can cut the deal with. All right. You got my attention. Get up. And we'll collect Gabrielle on the way. Let's go. The man always takes what he wants. Service record. It was a past life. Thing is, James, I just never know when you're telling me the truth. Oh 
Holy shit. She's really here. Where's Vorsa? Uh, yeah. I lied. I guess I'm just working for her now. You son of a bitch. Go. Oh, oh my god! Hey, Tim, go! Put down the gun! Don't put down the gun. Go ahead, shoot. Put down the gun or I kill him! He is the only thing keeping you alive. Jesus. What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me? Put the gun down! I am just a girl. What would I know about guns? Go ahead. Pull the trigger. Go ahead. Oh, fuck. Pull that trigger. Go ahead. I dare you. Pull the trigger. Go, oh, go, go, go. Get to the penthouse, all right? Gabrielle, you need to help her. Are you gonna make it? Yes, I'll make it. All right. What about you? Uh, I'll hold him off. James. I'll be fine. Go on. Sorry, go. Go! It's okay. We've been looking for you everywhere. General. The money from Mr. Gibbons. It actually arrived. We did it, Forza! She's alive. She's here. What? Who is here? Petrenko. You told me she was dead. You said you took care of it. Nobody could survive that explosion. She's obviously here to get on TV. She has to show she is alive. My men are going floor to floor. They will find her. It is impossible for her to get to the penthouse. I wouldn't be so sure. There's a man. <laughs> I've met him. His name is James Henderson. He's CIA or ex-CIA. You can never tell with those guys. But the headline is he's Blue List. What is that? Blue list is for operatives who are given an indefinite kill ratio. Oh, indefinite means they don't know? It means there's no upper limit. It means he's extremely dangerous. Whatever training your men have, whatever firepower, it may not be enough. He's just one man. The broadcast is in 20 minutes. Vorza, you must take charge of the search. Petrenko cannot reach the penthouse. General, you can depend on me. Mr. Gibbons, you're with me. We will go to the penthouse once Vorza tells me it is secure.
my god, you're alive! General Azar telling us so many lies. We don't know what to believe. I need to speak to the people of the country, but we don't have much time. Absolutely, Madam President. Get ready to roll! I need a few moments to speak directly to the country. After that, I'll give you a live, continuous interview until I am either dead, captured, or victorious. We get them on the other side. Move! Move! to go. But what if it isn't secure? Then we make a full and noble sacrifice for our country. Oh, great. Just one man, you say? I'd like to meet him one day. Oh, I'm pretty sure you will. I am in the capital, and I am once again calling on the people of our great nation. Retake our city. Citizens already inside the city should seize the television station and disrupt the enemy's lines of internal communication and supply. Soldiers outside the city to remain loyal to government should lay siege to the roadblocks on the bridges in order to cut off and isolate the enemy coup. They have him. He's gone out. I'm going to meet the general. You finish up here. If he surrenders... He won't. The coup forces are brutal. They depend on the tactics of the bully. They rely on acquiescence and fear to succeed. But we are not afraid. We will not acquiesce. This is our country. 
The era of Titans is over! That's here. She's on the top floor. You see this? She's alive. Lazar lied to you. That means you're no longer soldiers. You're criminals. Criminals! Stay there. Stay back. Lower your weapons. These are civilians. Petrenko! You are too late. The people know that I am alive. Your little adventure is over. And what if they see you shot dead on live TV? Who will they believe then? It's bad PR, General. What will your corporate sponsors think? Better to arrest her, put her on trial. You don't understand this country, Mr. Gibbons. The people don't want trials or all those trappings of democracy you hold so dear. A good public execution. That's what they demand. What is that? I'm sorry, General. I think it's too late. The people will be against us. He's right about one thing, though. We shouldn't kill her. We need her to get out of here. What about the CIA man? He's finished. Then who is doing all that shooting? Put up a good fight. I'm sorry. He will be remembered as a national hero. He can still do this, General. I'm telling you, a trial, some good PR. It'll be a bit bumpy for a while, but just think of those contracts. Boriza, we have the money? Yes, General. And with Petrenko here, we have a good chance of safe passage out of here. My men will still be loyal. We get to the Russian embassy, we will be safe. So why do we need this idiot? I can't think of a single reason, General. Me neither. Now just a minute, General. I I'm, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. After all the things that we've been through, you're gonna do this to me? Or we'll shoot. You know, I've seen too many guns today. I'd rather sell this the old way. 
I've been looking forward to meeting you, Mr. Lex, CIA. Yeah, probably under better circumstances. No, 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 no. The circumstances are perfect. Done with you, we shall leave. for the military rebels. President Petrenko has been found safe, and the coup's leader, General Lazar, has been killed in the fighting. Rebel soldiers have surrendered to government forces, and it seems this short-lived but bloody coup is now over. Thank you. We never establish whether you were CIA or not. It's a gray area. Mm. But let's just say the U.S. government is pleased the way things turned out. Right. And you can call me James, by the way. Oh. In another life, maybe. Until then? Yes, Madam President. I suppose you'll be wanting that cell phone contract. <laughs> now that's someone else's problem now. I think I'm going to request to be moved back to New York. Turns out I'm not great with revolutions. We all have our lives to live, but just know that my nation will be forever grateful to both of you. Thank you. James? I'm hungry. Wanna get some breakfast? Sure. <laughs> Come on, watch you interrogate me. Wait. You like bagels, right? I love bagels. 